So guys, we're still on a race week adventure. I am headed to Evergreen right now to take Bill Armstrong, his trailer. Um, I still need to replace the clutch fan in my truck. So uh, it's running a little warm. I've had to stop a couple times. But then we're gonna race down and uh, test Jamie's car. Um, but I've got to drop some stuff off here at Bill's trailer and a Tatrix table for uh, Trevor. And uh, they're gonna try to see if they can't solve Trevor's clutches. I've been slipping a little bit, so they're gonna try to check that out. Um, and I got the heater running, so the windows are down. So it's an adventure. We've made it to Bill's and it is definitely a hot rod show. Race week party right here for your Bill Armstrongs. Alright, trailer looks like it's hanging in there. Alright, so we've got Trevor's, uh, we got a plan for Trevor's transmission. So we're going to head down the mountain and see if we can get that transmission to work and uh, go for a 7 up here on the mountain. So we found ourselves now over at Tobes, the diesel training team. Once we started going over all the logs in the MoTeC, we noticed that on bank one and bank two, the boost did not match. Bank two was down almost 10 to 15 pounds in some spots. So we figured we should head back to the shop, get this thing on the smoke checker and check it out. It took a hot second to get. I think there's any more. So is it the clamp or is it a hole in this or crack in this? That's my kind of question. Cause well, we could pop the clamp, pull the clamp. I don't know if it's, I don't think it'll blow it off. If it does, we'll just deal with it. Stop smoking when you pull the clamp. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, I see it right here. Oh, there it goes again. Yep. It's coming from the back, back here. Is there a bolt in this bottom one? Yeah, there. It is. Yeah, it's just deep. Okay. Yeah, it's a deep bolt, but it looks like it's coming from back here, like around here. This thing, like this whole ring. Does it? There's no ring there. Yeah, there's no ring right there. Well, that could be it. I wonder if that screws on or off. That's a good question. I don't mess with these throttle bodies, but... Because if you look straight down at it, it's coming from the throttle body side, not, not the clamp. Start smoking again, please. Well, I can see the smoke right here. I can see it. I lost it. But I did see it. Oh, we just timed out, that's why. 
It will do that. Oh. Yeah, make sure that red light's on there. She's. Uh -huh. It honestly looks like the backside of that. Just a fucking o ring. Would that, that lose 20 like pounds some... of loose, though? Seems. I mean, you lose volume, you know? Right there, yep. See that O-ring? Yeah, right there. Look at there, perfectly. The O-ring is pushed out the side. So that thing must turn to tighten or something, I wonder? I wonder, it's got a... Can I see it? Can you see it? You see the little the bulge? See the little bulge right there? Like right there? Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Once we go in, we go in. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's leaking. Thought exhaust manifold or get fixed. Text a picture of that to him and see if he's got that O ring. Is that like some O ring we can just get or is it special? Aren't these just OEM throttle bars? I have no idea. I mean, it's cool, but it's not cool. No, you're too far. This way. Yeah, I hear it. And there you go. But you can see that. Hmm. Maybe it'll spin it off by hand now. Yeah. Pretty squished out right here. It definitely looked like it was ballooned way out. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, feel it right here. It's I all can blurry. see it. You can see it see all. all the see it all sideways. Yep. Little guy. Jeez. Maybe flip it to where the thing is on the inner. Something small like that. Ruin your day. Ruin a car. Yeah. All right, so we got a little sealant on there. We got the O-ring in. The pin in. I think this thing's going to work now. Tight, I think. Tight, I think so. Tight? Tight like a Tight. tiger. It is definitely a race week. I was saying earlier, it's like, I'm not on race week, but I'm on race week. Just <laughs> it's been awesome. Yeah, thanks for letting me use your shot. Oh, of course. Teamwork. We have been going. So just about finished up there, shutting all the stuff down here. And I think I'm going to go home for the night. Whew, that was a lot of work. All right, we got her done. Back out to race week. They race again tomorrow at Vandermeer. So I'm gonna try to get out there and root them on and help them out. It's pretty awesome. I love how the PFI glows in the dark. Let's go. Right, so race week is still going on. It is the next morning. Here's our dudes. What's up? What is up? What are you doing? Mr. 12 seconds over here. 12 seconds, baby. So sick. So sick. 108. Little wheelies and Dude, stuff. Dude, you guys on the front do? wheel? What are you guys doing over here? We Breaking lost the turbos. It's just, we, I think eBay stuff, you know, oil rings went out. So she's smoking a little bit or yeah, just not? It just smokes real bad. And Every it's gear. Leaking out in the back of the housing. First gear. So oh, it's yeah. It's just been dripping out in the back of the housing for 300 miles. So. Every time he decels, it just pours smoke out of it, you know. It's starting yeah, to yeah. affect our oil consumption, so. That'll happen. I figure it's time for a newer one before we go beat the hell out of it the rest of our miles. We want, cool. We want that 11, Brent. We want, oh. we want that 11 now. Ready to step up, huh? Ready to go big.
1,100 miles or so already? 1,100 miles or so. 1,100 miles or so. And only two transmissions and a clutch and everything. And Welcome that, to race week. That was all in Carney. Dude, I, I think you guys neglected the sleep thing. I think everything else you guys covered with that. I, I told you, you the don't sleep. sleep. I was not prepared for it. Like, I was What sleep? The, yeah, there's no sleeping. I haven't slept. I've been on race week myself, and I'm still here. Dude, you're not. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, We've been going sleep. and fixing everybody's stuff all yeah. week. It's my bad, bro. It's all good. But other than that, it's running phenomenal. That's so rad. And then when we were at uh, Nebraska, it hit boost cut, and we were like, whoa. We're like, what was that? Because I had that at 24 pounds. 24, yeah, we hit 24. the two-step. So it had to be awesome. It was crazy. Well, it was... And it was right on the two-step. He went, da, 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 and it was like maybe two or three bangs, and then it was like, <laughs> just take it all out. I'm like, oh, yeah. Two of them might have so, fell when you launched, but. So, hmm. uh, well, I launched in third the first time. Dang it. So, so Jim, what, uh, what? The only thing I got laying around. What turbo are you throwing on this uh, bad boy? 84. Oh my gosh, He wants bro. to party and it's what we got. So. Good thing you're a nurse, because you're going to break something. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. I don't want to work on nothing no more. I'm tired. I bet. You're crushing it, man. Almost what the truck weighs. Oh my gosh. It's like a 68? 67. 67. That's what we're looking at. Is all still a little warm to you? Yeah, it's very warm. <laughs> you have the glow stick I, to his finger. I do have the welding gloves. That's what I said. I had some, uh, some leather gloves I was using. They were all right for a while. Look at that. Here we go. Turbo gasket still. And manifold's dry, so we're good. Do you have to change that gasket, or is it good? Um, I'm sure it's probably still good enough. We just lost it. All right, these guys got the new turbo housing on, so just about to put the turbo on and uh, getting her straightened out. So a little, little thing did pretty good. Uh, probably just needs a little seal kit, and this thing will be good again, but they're doing it. It's pretty awesome. I've held a newborn before, but I think this feels a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> you grab all the bolts for that? Yeah, I, did. I, did. I like this feeling a lot better. Too much. It's the same little scary feeling of you yeah. don't want to drop it, you don't but. Drop it. I might be a little off on the clocking. I just called it. It's perfect. Well, as long as you can get the turn line on it. Yeah, that'll work, huh? That'll work. That thing looks fierce. So what is that hole for? Uh, turbo speed. Oh, okay. That's what speed I thought. Sensor. I seen, yeah, I seen on the website I was looking at them and they had the speed sensor on them already. Do you yep. Awesome. Uh, you? Dropping her off. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, give me one minute. A little bit of inspection. is looking pretty good on here. I gotta loosen it a little bit more. I know you don't know the B band line well, that loose. You hear that, Brent? What's that? They came through here at midnight and they didn't hit us. Oh, up. it's just stop. I thought you guys were cool. seriously like not here. Yeah. We're always here. He didn't even try and hit us up. We were here. I even texted him like a couple hours before. I know he like, Yo. he's gotta take naps. So they did break the steering column. Went junkyard hopping. Junkyard hopping. So Chevy decided to make this universal joint with a piece of plastic. It's actually two pieces of plastic with a spring shoved in between it. So you can tilt the column. Yep. But those joints were about gone. They had squished so far that it was oh, like wow. nothing left. There was no nub. So, so it was just- So what's the play here? That's probably a- I think this is Chevy now. Yeah, it's, that's just it's like- It's not even moved, because it moves the column just a little bit. So that's probably the- Oh, that's just the steering box. This it's joint here. And they- the steering box could probably use a brace or something. Yeah. 
flexes that. Well, we're gonna get rid of that or put up actual like uh, what was the eco ones we were looking at? Like power yeah, steering. they're electric power steering on those. You can put view Saturn view it's in line. Same thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Hit, up, yep. thing. hit up Harvey. I did. You messed Dude. me back. Out in, Cal up again. Out in California. He's in Arizona. Arizona. Hit him up again. Yep, he's the man. Say, bro, I was at PFI. Yeah, I wrapped told me to hit you up. Man, this is on video, so now Carvey's getting called out. Grab that, grab that. See, Harvey, we do send people your way. I did, because I met him out in, um, uh, huh? in Florida. Yeah, I met him in PFI, and he told me about that. In PFI? Uh, yeah. You mean it? No, Freedom at Factory. Freedom Factory, yeah. <laughs> do that PFI. Hey, we did cut a fan off, too, and it still runs 150. That's wild. Yeah. It's ridiculous. All right, did you tighten that bottom clamp? Bottom clamp is official. All right, if it's all together, let's put it on the dyno, and let's uh, see what this thing will do. Well, this site's looking familiar. Yeah. I think we just did this. We just did this, what, nine, oh, almost a week ago, but. But today, we got something a little more serious on it. This is gonna be crazy. It got serious so fast. Yeah, it really did. It, it did. We do need to look up that clutch, though. I wanna know oh, what yeah, it'll I'll hold. Get... You did? 525. 525 horse, and then four, torque. 45 torque. Do I still gotta push down for third or anything? Uh, a little, not in too crazy though, like it used to be. Okay. Alright, we're ready. 458. That's 12 pounds. Only 12 pounds? Oh, it's 16 pounds probably. Pounds, you definitely will make you take over five. Let's go. Let's you go, built man. a hell of a motor, baby. So we were driving, it was just pouring. I was like, yeah. oh god, something's hurt. You're looking like Gordy old Traeger out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were asking if we were a diesel. All right, so we just got Devin's off the dyno. We're getting it off the dyno. Uh, and they're going to race up to Bandemir. Pretty good little power number. So uh, we'll see how he does tonight. Pretty stoked for you, bro. I'm excited, Brent. So excited. She's making big strides this week. That was insane. Yeah, a one, eight day strides she did, guys. So, yeah, we were down here, what, Tuesday we dynoed. We came back now, eight days. It survived a thousand miles already, yep. and we just made more power. And the track goes hot in track, about an hour or track so. Track goes hot in an hour. So you gotta get there. Gotta go. There she goes, back to the track. See you later. All right, let's bust out this S10. Wow. Wow. That's it.
shoot for that seven. Let's go, Trevor. finished up at Bandemir Speedway. He did a great job. Trevor almost got his seven second time slip at Bandemir. He wanted to try to do it because it was the last time running there. So he really wanted to make that work, but got this that close. He really did a good job. Devin in the little K-Series truck all week long, crushing it. He went 12s again at Bandemir and uh, he finished out in Pueblo running another 12. So you guys check out Nursing Garage. They ended up getting rookie of the year, which is absolutely phenomenal. Great work guys. They really worked hard for it and they really did really well. And uh, Trevor went to the Fast 8, eight fastest cars in the event, which is flat out just awesome. Super stoked for him. He did a great job. He represented the shop well. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun prepping this car. I'm kind of learning GTRs. I have not worked on a whole bunch of them. Um, I've done some Nissan stuff, but uh, this has been really cool. And it was really rad to see him uh, do so well. Uh, the trailer held it in there. All the stuff we fabbed out did, except for... The tongue itself, it's broke off there, and I think it's got a crack in here. So I've got to fix some stuff. It's got a little bounce to it. Get this ride all ready for sick week. Uh, that'll be the next event he competes at. And we're gonna start gearing up for World Cup Finals. It's coming up the end of the month. Uh, we weren't able to make it FL2K, but we got a lot done here. We helped a lot of friends, and that was really rewarding. And I. I had a blast doing it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the race week coverage. We weren't on race week, but we kind of were at the same time. And that was pretty cool. So we appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you guys all tomorrow.